Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to a new video. Today, we are going to be giving this little bad boy right here a nice little try. Obviously, as you can see, I am a sight to see right now. I did just get done my workout about 20 minutes ago. I did let my body cool down slightly just so I can ensure that this is able to work the best that it possibly can. So like I said, we're gonna give this guy a good try today. This is the TLC Happy Scalp Scrub from Drunk Elephant. If you did see my Sephora haul that I did recently, I did pick this guy up during the sale. I know nothing about him. I didn't see any videos about him. I just saw him sitting in my what's new recommended for you category. And honestly, I fell for the packaging. So I figured I would give you guys a little update on how this is gonna go, kind of do like a review with you. And let you know how I like it. Now, before I do get into the video, please do me a favor and give the video a big thumbs up to like it. Also, if you do find yourself coming back to my channel quite frequently, go ahead and click that little subscribe button right there, as well as the notification bell right next to it if you wanna be notified of when I do post my videos. And guys, we're just gonna kind of get into it. This might be the most informal video that I do because I look like garbage. I'm sorry guys, this is probably the worst I will ever look in any of my videos. I have not washed my hair since what day is today? Today is Friday the 8th, May 8th, Friday, May 8th. Quarantine is really getting to me. It's, for some reason, I still thought it was the first week of May. It is not, it's already the second week, end of the second week, it is now May 8th. Last time I washed my hair was on Tuesday. Tuesday, right? I think I washed my hair Tuesday which would make today technically day four, but because I'm washing my hair today, I have gone three days without washing my hair and it's in desperate need of getting kind of in there and gritty and nitty. So that is what I'm gonna be doing. As I said in the introduction, this is the TLC Happy Scalp Scrub from Drunk Elephant. It is a 10% AHA as well as BHA blend and plant oils as well as a pH of 3.7. As I said in my introduction, I did kind of pick this up due to one, the name of it, two, because it popped up in my recommended, and three, because it's pretty. It's pretty and it's pink. And yes, I fell for the packaging. Did I need a scalp scrub? Yes. I do have experience with utilizing the Briogeo scalp scrub, the charcoal scrub, and I do love that. I have purchased that twice in the past and I absolutely love that product. But I was feeling as though I needed something that was a little bit more nitty gritty to get in there because I feel like when I use the Briogeo one, because it is a more physical exfoliant, I feel like sometimes I don't do a good enough job of washing that out with shampoo afterward. So those little nitty gritty bits tend to stay in my hair. So I figured that this being a chemical exfoliant would do wonders for my hair. Now, if you guys don't know what chemical exfoliants do, they are, first of all, if you don't know, you should be incorporating them in some way with your regular skin routine. I do typically use for my face, I use either the Ola Hendrickson toner, which has have, uh, I believe it's a 10% AHA blend in it, as well as the Ren toner. Normally your toners are going to have some sort of chemical exfoliant inside of it. I do always recommend some sort of chemical exfoliant over a physical exfoliant, just because I feel like they're a little bit more gentle on your face. But guys, also keep in mind that it's not just taking about taking care of your face skin, the skin on your face, nor your neck, nor just your body, but your head. Even though, yes, you do have a hair, and this is what you're seeing, underneath of your hair is what? skin, it's scalp, it's skin, and you need to take care of your scalp just as much as you do the rest of your body. I'm sure that you guys know this from my previous videos. The shampoos and conditioners that I use are very healthy shampoo and conditioners. They are free of pretty much the big six or 10, you know, sulfates, parabens, phthalates, those type of things in it. I do use the Living Proof Color Care Shampoo sometimes, and then normally I use the, the Olaplex brand, which is just their Olaplex number, I believe it's five and six, or no, I'm sorry, four and five, which is their shampoo and conditioner. I do use their number three occasionally as well as a hair mask. I am in desperate need of getting a good scalp scrub in there. It's been a couple of days and I can tell right now that I just haven't been doing a fantastic job of overall cleaning or cleansing my head because I have never once ever, ever, ever had any like scalp issues when it comes to like flaking or dry scalp. But most recently I have been getting dry skin right here and right here. And so I need something that's gonna be able to get in there and get those dead skin cells away from my hair. So honestly, so it can be nice and healthy. It does retail originally for $36 from the Sephora website. This is probably one of the most affordable products that Drunk Elephant has. I do also use their Behydra Serum, which I've talked about a million times, which that is the most affordable skincare product that they have. So their shampoos and conditioners are actually at a, a pretty affordable price point when you are looking for like higher end hair care products. It's definitely not going to be a drugstore pricing. So if you're expecting to spend five, six, seven dollars on it, 
you ain't gonna get it. So Sephora describes it, it says it is a supercharged AHA BHA acid blend that dissolves dead skin cells and styling product buildup while it is biodegradable, gentle exfoliating beads sweep them away. Um, it is great for straight, wavy, curly, coily hair, so pretty much all hair types. Um, hair texture fine, medium, and thick, so all hair types. Key benefits is volumizing, it is color safe, and it protects against damage, split ends, and breakage. What is also great about Drunk Elephant products is that it is a clean brand. So you do not have to worry about it having any of those nasty, gritty products and they're going to overall ruin your hair nor your scalp. I don't know how to use this guys. So, because again, I haven't watched any reviews on it, but what the website says is that suggested use is to use prior to showering. Obviously it says when your hair is dry, apply directly to a dry scalp and massage, allow to sit for 10 minutes or more and then rinse. It does recommend that you obviously use the other Drunk Elephant products. This is the only Drunk Elephant hair care product that I have. So I am going to go in with my normal hair care routine of the Living Proof as well as Olaplex products. Um, but it does recommend that you follow up with the shampoo and conditioner that's in the line. And it says that you can use it up to one or two times per week. Let's see what to do. What I'm gonna do, my plan for this video is I'm going to apply this with you guys. I'm gonna come back at the end of the 10 minutes, kind of give you what it feels like. And then I'm going to hop into the shower. I am not gonna take you into the shower with me. Obviously I know some YouTubers do that. Girl, no, cause I need to do a full body scrub today and it's gonna take me a while in the actual shower itself. So I will not be doing that with you guys. And then I have a couple errands I have to run after that. I'm gonna throw my makeup on. I have to go pick up a couple of things. Um, and I will come back tonight after I style my hair, let you guys know ultimately how it feels on my hair after it is fully styled. So let's do this. Like I said, I haven't used this yet. When you first open it, it, oh no, is that right? Oh, you just pull it off. Is there? It does have a little guy over top that you do have to peel off and then you pop it off. And it looks like it just has like one of these guys where you can like separate your hair kind of with it and put it down. So I feel like that's kind of what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna put it in my fingers. Uh, we're just gonna go for it guys. So I'm gonna go straight down the middle first with the product kind of where I feel like I need it. And again, I don't know what I'm doing. I could be doing this completely wrong. I don't feel like I'm using a lot of the product either. And I am ensuring that I'm touching my scalp. That's one thing I wanna explain to you guys is I am ensuring that I'm touching my scalp with this. Ooh, in the back, I can definitely feel like a little tingling. I'm just gonna start massaging it in. I don't, I don't think I used a lot of product though. I feel like I need to use a little bit more product. It doesn't smell bad. I will say the one thing that's a little bit annoying about this already is that I can't tell how much product I'm using. So I don't know if I'm using like enough. Am I using too much? Am I gonna be going through this product too quickly? I feel like that's enough. I don't know. Maybe I went in with not too enough product, but um, so there are like little bits. This is gonna sound really gross, but can you guys see there's little bits coming off my fingertips? That might be the product. It could also just be maybe build up this on my hair, which is also kind of gross. So I do have like a little towel on my lap. I feel like I didn't use enough product, but how do you know? How, how do you know how much product to use? I feel like I didn't, I barely used any, but how do you know? Let's actually just go ahead. We're gonna put a little bit on my hands and then go through my hair where I feel like I really need it. Okay, um, so now that I really just look like I haven't washed my hair in two months, <laughs> I'm gonna kind of let it sit and I will come back in 10 minutes. Right now it is 12.43, so at 12.45 I will come back and let you guys know what my hair feels like because it does say to sit for 10 minutes and then I will go in and wash it off. See you guys in 10. All right, guys, I am back. It has been eight minutes, but I don't wanna let it sit on too much longer because by the 10 minute mark, I'll be in the shower. I wanna give you guys a little bit of an update. It doesn't feel any different. I'm actually really surprised because I was expecting it to kind of feel like how any um, AHA BHA toner would feel on my skin, which is like a little bit of a tingly feel. I don't feel that on my head and I know it's actually sitting on my scalp as opposed to my hair. Like, yes, it's on parts of my hair, but it's not like all over. Um, it doesn't, it's not painful. I mean, I feel like a little bit like right here where it's like itchy. I might not just like blended that in though. I don't know. It feels fine. It doesn't hurt. It's not itchy. It's not really anything. It's not, it's not cute. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Yeah. I mean, it's hopefully doing what it needs to do. It's making me look like I have dandruff or lice when I, when I don't. So it's not like something that you could put in your hair and then go out in. Not that I'm saying that you'd ever want to, but it doesn't have like the best scent to it. And I will say that I still have little bits all over my hand with it, but I did put it in my hand, obviously put it in my scalp. So I am going to jump off camera. I'm going to go wash my hair. I will see you guys in a few hours and I will come back. And after I style my hair, I'll let you guys know what it looks like and what it feels like. See you guys in a couple of hours. 
Hey guys, so I am back. It has been quite a few hours. I think when I originally filmed, what time was it at? Like 12.45, 12.50, something around there. It is now 4.10. It has been quite a few hours, like I said. I did let my hair partially air dry before I did, um, I just kind of pulled it back into a braid. I had to run a couple errands, pick a couple things up, came home and I just got done blow drying and semi straightening my hair. And I just kind of wanted to give you guys an overview of what I think about the, where is it? What I think about this guy here. Let's go back to when I was actually showering and washing my hair. The product came out super easily. Like it didn't, it wasn't really difficult it didn't like leave any bumps or grit or anything in my hair. I still had to go in with a good bit of shampoo over top of it to get everything out. But overall, I noticed that I did use a lot less shampoo than I normally do. Because typically when I wash my hair, I do go in with two cleanses of my shampoo. Sometimes I use like a Briogeo shampoo mixed with then the second time going in with my Living Proof shampoo. Um, this time I was able to go in with just like a tad bit more of my Living Proof shampoo than I normally would use for like the second rinse but I just had to do one rinse of shampoo and everything kind of came out. My conditioner laid on beautifully. When I had walked out of the shower and dried off and was putting like my styling products in my hair, because normally I do like my oils and like leave-in conditioner prior to letting my hair air dry. I don't do that after where I do it before it so everything can really soak in while it's air drying. When I was putting all that stuff in, nothing really felt different. To, to be really honest with you guys, like when I was brushing my hair out, I didn't notice anything different. The product soaked in great. What I noticed though was when I was blow drying my hair. So my hair, most of this is just blow dried with a round brush. Um, I do have a thicker round brush, so it blow dries fairly straight as opposed to like actually round and, and curly. It blow dried super straight, you know, and it could be due to this. I, I can't tell you. I didn't use any different products that I normally use, but it dro blow dried very quickly. It blow dried very straight to the point where I really didn't have to use my straightener over most parts of my hair. I went in with just like kind of my little front bits here to straighten them out and a little bit of the under section because they're a little bit difficult to reach with the round brush. Um, but everything else is just kind of like a blow dry, which is really surprising to me because I do have very, 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 very frizzy hair. And today in Houston, it is like 100% humidity. It is pouring rain outside because we have a cold front pushing through. So it's like the most humid that we get this time of year. I mean, I'm impressed. I Again, I don't know if it comes down to this product, but maybe because I was able to really get in there and get the grit and the grime out of my hair with this product, that my conditioner was able to work better, my shampoo was able to work better. That could be it. Maybe my natural oils were able to be distributed throughout my hair that they're normally not. I just gotta say guys, like normally my hair would take so much longer than this to actually get straightened. I would have to use my straightener on the ends and much more often throughout my hair in order for it to not be as frizzy. But literally the only thing different today from like every other day that I blow dry my hair was this guy. So, I mean, process of elimination, it, I think I think this did a little bit more than I expected it to. I am really impressed. I mean, I, I know I'm gonna get questions about this because I did mention the Briogeo charcoal scrub, I think it is, or the whatever scrub Briogeo has, the differences between the two. That, I felt like I used a lot more product in it just because you're dipping your hand into it and putting it in throughout my hair. This, I can't tell obviously how much product I use, but with one try, I still feel like it's fully full, but it is a little bit difficult obviously to see how much product over time. I won't know to be able to really compare apples to oranges until I get done this product. The Briojo one is more of a physical exfoliant because you can actually feel the beads working to remove the grit from your hair. Whereas this one is more definitely of a chemical exfoliant just due to the AHAs and BHAs. I have no irritation in my hair. I'm not noticing any flaking. Now, normally I don't get flaking until about the two to three day mark just because of my makeup that I have here. But a lot of the dead skin cells that I did have around my face just from just like grit and grime building up after a while, they're just gone at this point, which is awesome. Now, do I recommend this? Yeah, I mean, I think that if you guys are liking a good scalp scrub and you need something to really get in there and it's a clean brand, this is absolutely fantastic. I can't tell you again if it's gonna be better than the Briogeo one because it's been a little bit since I've used it and I don't have it to really compare. Like it's hard to say, oh yeah, I'll use Briogeo in this half and then Junk Elephant on this half. Hard to say, but um, I really do like it. I will continue to use it and what I'll do is probably once I get to the very bottom of this, maybe I'll do an update on like an empties video in the future. I can certainly do that, but I, I mean, I give it a thumbs up. Is it worth $36? I don't know. 
I mean, if you're kind of somebody who like has the money and you're on the fence about buying it and you're like, oh, is it actually worth it? If you have the money, try it out, go for it. If you don't have the money and you're like, oh, it's gonna be a splurge, but I've heard great things about it. I'm not gonna be the one to tell you to go out and buy it, okay? Because if this is gonna be a splurge for you and it's between buying this product or other products, buy other products because I don't think that scalps, the scrubs are actually needed, but it was nice. So that's really all I have on this product. I do hope that you guys really like it. I really enjoyed this review. I know it was short and sweet and kind of like different considering this is a hair care product, not like a makeup product. I will be pre-recording a ton of videos moving forward because I am actually having surgery this time next week. And I don't know if within the first week after having surgery, I'll actually be able to go through and film videos. I know I can edit a bunch of them, but I will be pre-recording a bunch of videos for you guys in the next coming weeks. So definitely keep an eye out for those. I know I did promise you guys an Amazon favorites video this week, but I just couldn't get around to it because I was like kind of prepping for the surgery and like a lot of things were changing. So I will get that up sometime next week. I promise, promise, promise you guys on that one. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please do me a favor and give it a big thumbs up. It would really truly mean a lot to me. It would help me out so much to get my video is just pushed out there into the YouTube verse. Also, if you do find yourself coming back to my channel, please click the subscribe button. You'll actually then be able to see when I post videos without having to actually type things in. And then if you want to be notified of when I post my videos, please click the little notification bell. It would really, really, really help me out. And really guys, that's all I have. So I hope that you have a great day and a fantastic weekend. Bye.